We keep um, getting asked about uh, how to operate tipper mechanisms off some people and, and they, they do struggle with it a bit and what's the best way. So we thought the easiest way to keep sending messages and texts and various things we would make a video and hopefully it'll be helpful. That's if we can get it across. I don't actually use speed controllers on my mechanisms and trailers. I use a, 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 a servo and a double pole double pole switch. Now what this does, you, you, you feed the power from the battery, or whether you take a battery on the trailer, or you, you, use, you take a jump from the battery on the wagon. If you're using a big enough battery, you can just run wires from the, back, the wagon battery down to the trailer through banana plugs uh, or whatever, and it's generally sufficient. I use a separate battery because I, I, t I tend to go to shows and people use the trailer and one thing or another, and it's all self-contained. When you use a double pole, double throw switch, like this one, which springs on both ways, you put the power from the battery to the centre too, and then when you pull the switch one way, it feeds the power to, to, to the, say these two, and then when you go the other way, it switches them around, and so you, you, you get forward and reverse. And when you couple that, like I've done here with a servo, on, on here, like so, you put mount the switch on a bracket here, and then I've got a little arm here, and, and a servo, and the cable off the servo then goes off to your receiver, like so. Now, on this, you just take that and, and plug it into your spur channel on your receiver, and it's the way it operates servo, forward, and reverse, like so. Up down. From there you've got your power in and then you've got two, two sets of wires which go in into the motor, to, to one to each. Um, and another way, and on the, well, we're going on the, the, the cables, some cables like these are different colours. Now what I generally do is use an extension cable from the wagon to, to the thing and, and the different colours. There's a rule of thumb where I do it is the, the different colours and what you have, you have your, your, on this is orange, red and brown. The orange is, is the data that sends it to the servo or the speaker or whichever. The second one is a power feed and the, and the third one is an earth. And on here, again, different colours, white which is data and black which is earth. So if you do get different colours, it's brown and black usually go together. Uh, orange and, and white or, or whichever, basically a data, a live wire and an earth wire. When you're using this you leave everything intact and just plug it straight in. And on some, if you're using a speed controller, like what's on this wagon here, and now you, your speed controller on your wagon sets up exactly the same way as what you would do if you were using one on a trailer. You, do, you don't need a big speed controller for for the, especially for these motors, they don't draw a lot of amps, they don't take a right lot of power. A, a 20 pound speed controller, Viper Marine 2015 generally doesn't, they're about 20, 20, 15 to 20 pound. It's the, the, to use a speed controller is the easiest, quickest way i found of doing it. I, I do this because it, it, it suits my requirements more than anything. and it, It's easier and it's a lot more foolproof. And like you said, if somebody wants to use a trailer and they, they haven't got a spur channel, they can still operate it like that. When you use a speed controller for your motor, like you say, it's just the same thing as a wagon, it's just a wire in principle, exactly the same. I have a, I have a diagram of one here. And what happens here, you've got, you, you've got your, your power to your speed controller, it's like on your wagon, your on off switch, plug that into your battery. These two wires go to the motor which on this case would be the tipping chair and then here you have your data cable going back to data cable the only difference is <coughs> when you're using a speed controller and you've two speed controllers on your setup with the original or an article or, or whatever when you, when you look at these wires and you, 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 you plug them in you get a conflict between the speed controller you're using for your mechanism and the speed controller on your wagon what you need to do is cut that red wire from one of your speed controllers, I always do it from the trailer. And what I do, I have a, an extension cable 
which goes between these two that has that way of cut and we'll, we'll like a few millimetres cut out of it so we can't touch uh, and, and like I said mount the speed control on the trailer wire it up uh, you know plug the battery whether you use a battery or you, you, you take your power from your wagon it doesn't really matter it, it does do the same job like I say speed control is the easiest simplest way of doing it it's 20 pound stick it on double sided tape on a bit of a bracket like that wire it up and you're away if, if you're doing it this way, like you said, it, it has, does have benefits for me and, and a lot of people prefer it. But all you need is, is a, a small servo, a medium sized servo, make a bracket uh, and the switch and a connecting arm and plug it in. Do not, if you're using a servo, do not cut that red wire. And that, like I say, I use trailers with servos and I use trailers like this. When I use like this, I, I, I leave that wire intact. If I'm using a speed controller, I have an extension cable with that wire cut. That that's important, really. You need to cut that middle wire. It, it, it's the power power supply one, <coughs> and that that should basically cover you. If you have any questions, just just contact me. If you need switches, you can't get switches. We're gonna. I think I'm gonna list these on the on the eBay site. I think so. We do have them in stock. If, if you do need them, just just get in touch and we can send them out to you. If you have any more questions or anything else you'd like to know, feel free to contact me. Thank you.